one thing that's uh what's going on here? What is going on here? One thing that is uh sad for uh, this spot is now you can see up in there, you come in at road here, but you can see that smoke over there. That smoke's actually on top of the um, main road. So this place you used to pull in, you know, and you, you kind of come down this road, you know, which is going the same way as the main road, but it comes back in here quite a ways. And then you get down to this, this valley, it's amazing. And you're kind of hid, you know, kind of, uh, kind of secluded, man. Now they've opened it all up, so a lot more people will see this place now. But one time, uh, oh, years ago, oh, I don't know how many years ago, a long time ago, me and this kitty was up here in this camp. It's kind of a rough, it's not a very long road, but man, it is a rough, rocky, gully. Battery went dead. Somebody's terraced this. That's since the last time I've been up here. This is, it's rough enough that uh, every time I come up in here, I don't come up in here. This, uh, this pretty much looks, the road continues on. And this is uh, pretty much how the road is for the main road too. But anyway, years ago, we came up in here and I actually was mushroom hunting. You know, looking for morels and hoofing around through this this stuff and on the other side of I think it was that stump right there on the other side of this I think it was right there maybe that's so been here for years anyway we got up in here and on the other side of this stump was like a uh, Dude, a freaking uh, tent. And I'm, I'm not talking set up. I'm talking, um, you know, all rolled up in a bag. And there was a tent. I just look and see if any of it was still here. A tent. And, um, I don't know if it was that or. Might have been that stump. Stump, I don't remember. It might have been that. That's, that tree's been down a while. Anyway, then there was lawn chairs and coffee pots and cook stove and I'm like what in the heck? And I didn't uh yeah man I kinda kinda figured it was um well I didn't know. No, I don't remember where anyway it was one of our He's in the stump my be gone. I'm surprised they didn't clear cut this. Whew. Anyway, it was up in here somewhere and I checked back. Whoa! I checked back the you know next year or whatever when we came back and stuff was all gone, but um I kind of figured uh it must be uh, either somebody Somebody was camping, didn't want to pack all the crap up, and was planning on coming back. Or, uh, that's a dang mushroom, man. Or, uh, I'm pretty sure it was on that. That's, that thing's old. Pretty sure it was right there. But anyway, so, I didn't, dude, I had no idea what it was. So I, uh, uh oh, it might be right there. Oh, what do we got here? 
it might have been on the Oh no, that's trash. Bear got a trash bag or something. Dude, I didn't bring any trash bags with me. I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely come back with a. I got trash bags in my power wagon, but I haven't put any in that. Are in the new new rig, but I need to. Anyway, so or that, or I thought it was, uh, you know, somebody that was homeless or something, just kind of stash their stash their stuff. So I didn't, even, you know, I didn't mess with mess with that. You know, to to find something for in a camp, you know, that's a you know a single thing or whatever is one thing, but to see somebody's um, everything. I mean, that could have been everything they own. And to see that and take that, man, no way. This could be somebody's life. You know, to find a, find an axe or a knife or a, a light, you know, out here in the middle of nothing where it just got forgot is one thing, but to take somebody, somebody's, uh, livelihood is a, is enough. Right. So man, we're gonna go ahead and uh, cruise on down uh, down by the hot springs, man. See, they they ended up putting a. Uh, I never called to see how much it was. It'd be kind of cool to do, but they ended up putting a. I guess you call it a cabin. Um, modular, modular trailer, tiny house, cabin thing, and had had a sign on the. I think I showed it, man. You probably look back on the videos and I showed it. I think it was last year. <laughs> Dude, I don't know that all these uh, all these years run together, brother. I don't have a problem with that, man. So look at this. This here, you can see that group of pine trees, just kills me. Uh, to that is that whole, that whole bend in the river there, man. Is some of the best brookie fishing. I mean, bar none, dude, just great, and, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the Texans. <sighs> Man, I won't even get into it. Dude, they, uh, there were some slimy some bitches. that's all I got to say. The way that they got that. Anyway, man, we ain't gonna go off on the on that the way like to yeah you can see the big orange sign right there man dude and I fished that for dude my whole life man it's been one of my favorite places to fish that beautiful little camp area man the one time I came up here you know, years ago obviously before the before them sons of bitches moved in um I came up here and was gonna fish it. There's plenty of other places to fish, but was gonna fish it. And uh, it was early in the morning. Oh man, kind of misty and you know, just just amazing, amazing morning, mountain morning. And this is bullshit right here because uh, I know on the other side of that sign right there is a Forest Service sign, so that's not. They do this too. That mark stuff but I know for a fact on the back of that tree or that next tree there's a forest service property sign so they're full of crap and then this spot right here I get so riled up this spot right here I don't know who unless they ended up buying the beyond the forest service 
from the private guy. There was a private guy that owned that, man. He used to have a, a trailer with a snow shelter back there. Anyway, man, where, oh yeah, back to my Misty Mountain. <laughs> Dude, I get so riled up. Dude, don't mess with my Idaho. Um, anyway, so I was up there, we we're coming up fishing. And, uh, come around the bend there, man, it's just, you know, it's daybreak, man, misty morning, amazing, amazing morning. And, uh, dude, there's a freaking a teepee set up down there with smoke coming out the, you know, with that smoke coming out the top. And, dude, I, man, I don't know why. I don't even, I, I didn't even have a phone back then. I didn't get another phone until four or five years ago. But, which, I don't even know why I have it because most of the time I ain't got no service. But, uh, <laughs> But it's great for pictures, man. I'll tell you that. I love it for pictures, and when I do have service watching my my YouTube. But uh, man, that was man. It was almost surreal. It was just so amazing. <sighs> this section through here, man. I guess uh, the Wilkes Brothers own. A good portion of it. Coming over back over here, man. Now now I remember why uh um I stay away from this section because dude it just fries me. Did my whole life, you know, the that that property that they got their hands on, the way the the way that it was written up was supposed to be um uh, pot latch pop latch it was supposed to stay public use forever and then somehow the frickin they swindled their way into it and made it all private <laughs> anyway man I've hunted and fished and hot spring and explored this area my whole life and now it's all Pretty sad. Pretty sad it is. Yeah, you know, I heard that. Oh, if you write a thing to the Wilkes Brothers or whatever, they'll let you mushroom hunt and fish on it. Well, I wrote a thing and I never heard shit back. Just saying. <laughs> All right, I can see the steam from the hot springs. Oh, they pulled the cabin thing. Must not been a go. I can smell it. Yeah, they had that. Like I said, then they had that. It, I don't know if it was last year, or two years ago. Sad, sad, sad. So, uh, so my whole life. This is White Lakes. My whole life, there was a building there, oops, and a building over there. Then in the hot springs, you can see the tube, you can see the hot spring bubbling on the ground here. And then, you know, all, or two, they were just little cabins, man, little, uh, like taking a step back in time. But that right there, excuse me, is a tub, not concrete. You know, man, it's a it's a bathtub. Still, still is, man, for a good soak. So sad. Tim and I have so many memories of camping out over there. And man, one time the the mud hole was right here. My old buddy Paul got stuck, and I had to pull him out. Man, like it's just, I could just go on and on with stories about that place. And now. Nah, I guess it just ain't allowed. <laughs>